Since the robust gearboxes for high-power DC motor 775 are super expensive, hard to find in the local market, and I always wanted to build one myself, well, I decided, why not create my own? I looked around, and guess what? I had some broken angle grinders, old drill machines lying around, abandoned and crying in the corner. So I salvaged their gear wheels and boom, made my own DIY 775 motor gearbox using a mix of metal and nylon gears. The result? A total gear ratio of 1 to 100. Massive torque and enough strength to power some seriously heavy applications. So stick around, because in this video I'll show you step by step how I created this beast of a gearbox myself. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't seen my earlier guide on controlling the speed and direction of a 775 DC motor using the BTS7960 driver with Arduino, that video will be super useful for this project, too. I'll drop the link in the description and also up here on the screen. Welcome to Project Weekend, where ideas turn into machines. I started by disassembling an abandoned hand grinder I chopped off its armature, then mounted a gear wheel from another forgotten machine onto the input shaft. And would you believe it, that gear wheel fit perfectly, like it was meant for this project. This is the bevel gear, which works with the mounted output shaft. Let's throw it into the housing. And yep, it turns perfectly smooth. At this stage, we get about a 1 to 3 ratio. But we need more reduction stages to make it really powerful. To build the next steps, I grabbed some aluminum L-bars and made custom parts for my gearbox housing. Strong, light, and DIY friendly. I attached a needle bearing to one of the aluminum parts to hold the drive gear securely in place, slotted it in, and nice smooth rotation, no jams. Now, here's a reduction gear salvaged from another machine. The best part? 
It already had needle bearings mounted. Saves me the effort of making my own. Mounted it in and it turns beautifully. After making some mounts and attaching both housing parts together, we now have three reduction stages completed. And here's the fun part. Big wheels keep on turning, and small wheels keep on turning too. For the final stage, I added another needle bearing into the housing and attached a large nylon gear to the shaft. This gear directly engages with the 775 DC motor. Now we're talking torque. I already built a plate to mount two 775 motors, but for the first test I used just one motor.
attached the plate to the gearbox, and gave it a little juice, only six volts, just to check for issues before pushing full power. And wow, it works! Even at low power, I couldn't stop the output shaft with my hand, or even with pliers. Imagine when I pump in the full 12 volts with proper amperage, and then double the fun by adding a second motor. This gearbox will be an absolute beast. I've got tons of upcoming projects using 775 motors in different ways. So if you don't want to miss those, make sure you subscribe to Project Weekend and hit that notification bell. That way, you'll be the first to see when I unleash my next DIY machine. If you like this video, or if you got ideas, suggestions, or problems you're facing in your own DIY builds, drop a comment below. I try to read and reply to as many as I can. Don't forget, the link to my 775 motor speed and direction control video is in the description below. Check it out if you're planning to build your own gearbox. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep creating, keep experimenting, and keep turning those big wheels.